Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us enter into the presence of God in the joys of the, ascend the ascending Christ in the silence of our heart. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. My almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of And on earth peace to people of goodwill. 
For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray. Gladen us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered appeared to them during 40 days and speaking with them about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples 
clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid the trumpet blasts. Sing praise to our God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King over all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner of the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it says, he ascended on high and took prisoners captive. He gave gifts to men. What does he descended mean, except that he also descended into the lower regions of the earth? The one who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Go forth to nations everywhere. Carry within you the gospel you share. Teach all to know the Father's care. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of the Father. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. And welcome to those watching on our live stream this morning. A special welcome to you folks as well. Happy Ascension Sunday. At the end of our first reading, it says, Men of Galilee, why are you looking up at the sky? That may sound like kind of an odd remark. It says it was two gentlemen dressed in white that said this. Probably angels, but it's not really clear by the text who it is. What does that mean? If you can think back before the pandemic, when we actually went into work, instead of watching it on Zoom, you know, at maybe about 10 o'clock or so, we would take a little break, and a lot of us, a lot of co-workers might gather, say, around the water cooler or around the coffee machine, and we would talk without masks on, talk face to face. And we'd be having a nice conversation, and then the boss would come along and look at you like, don't you guys have any work to do? That's what those two men are saying. Because for the last several weeks in the gospel, Jesus has been preparing his disciples to go out and continue his mission. So they had work to do. They need to get busy and not just gawk at the sky. That's what's going on in the end of that reading. As part of Jesus' ascension, he had to ascend so that the Holy Spirit could descend and give us these special gifts that are talked about in our gospel. He gives us those gifts so that we can use those gifts for the benefit of one another. In the book, Chicken Soup for the Soul, there's a story in that book about a special Olympics event in Seattle many years ago. And in this event, it was the 10-yard dash. There were nine participants, and all nine had suffered from some sort of challenge, either physical or mental. But they're all lined up getting ready for this 100-yard dash. And they're in this big stadium, and all these people are watching them. Well, the gun goes off, and the race starts. And immediately, one of the children, a little boy, falls down and starts crying. Well, one of the participants in the race, a little girl who happened to have Down syndrome, stops immediately in her tracks and turns around and goes back to the little boy that, was fallen, that had fallen down and kisses his knee and tells the little boy, that should fix your owie and helps him up. And then 
all nine participants started over, they all linked arms, and they ran the rest of the race together. And everybody in the stands stood up and screened for 10 minutes in joy of what just happened in front of them. What that little girl did, she heard the cries of another person and did what she knew how to do to give that little boy a kiss to fix his owie. Something she probably learned from her mom. Mothers get a special gift from the Holy Spirit as well. And only a mother has that ability to repair an owie with a little kiss. And that little girl learned that lesson and applied that lesson right then. If we could close our eyes for a, ma for a moment and imagine that our life is like running a race. And as part of that race, when we get to the end of our life and we pass from life into death and then from death into eternal life, if we can imagine what's going on in heaven at that moment in time, all of the angels and saints and God himself are up there applauding, especially if along with us, linked arm to arm, are all the people that we helped during our life. The people that when we heard their cry, they were hungry, Maybe they needed to be fed. Maybe they were in prison and they needed to be visited. But we turned around and went back to help them. That's what we're called to do. Jesus helps us cross that finish line. He helped us by sending the Holy Spirit and giving us those gifts that we can use to help one another. Our life is a success if when we cross that finish line and pass from death into eternal life, we're there with everyone we've helped and God applauds and heaven erupts with joy. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, God substantial with the Father, through him all things, things were made, for us men and vow of salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death, and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into, into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the, in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus has taken his place at the right hand of God, where he intercedes for us. With confidence, let us place our trust in Christ as we open our hearts and offer our prayers. For the church, may she fully live out her mission to proclaim the gospel to the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For world leaders, may they know and submit to the authority of God, who reigns over all the nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. For all who have received the sacraments of initiation during this Easter season, may they be faithful witnesses to the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For those preparing for their confirmation, may they be filled with joyful anticipation of the coming of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For counselors and therapists, may the Holy Spirit inspire and accompany them as they strive to help those in their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those making career decisions, May the Holy Spirit guide them in their discernment and lead them according to God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an end to the pandemic and for a swift rebuilding of what has been lost during this time, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those among us who are sick in body, mind, or spirit, for those listed in the parish bulletin, and especially for Gina Manzo, Kevin Farmer, Dave Peterson, Karen Permain, Maria Teresa Aon, Victoria Jimenez, Mary McCarthy, Bob Van Hoy, Rick Earhart, Teresa Hogue, John Skistimas and Mike Stevenson. May God comfort them and restore them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, and especially for Jake Allerid, John Machiaverna, and Tin McMenamin, may they rejoice forever before the throne of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the, for the repose of the soul of Leroy Katnick, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. O God, all things are under your authority. We entrust you with our every needs. Hear the prayers we have spoken and those in our hearts and give answer according to your perfect will. For we pray in the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Where my Father lives, there is room for all. There is room for all where my Father lives. And a place for you will be waiting there. Come to me, I will bring you home. If you love me and keep my commands, I will not leave you orphaned, I will return. Where my Father lives, there is room for all. There is room for all. Where my Father lives, 
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this holy, through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is it truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exhaust in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his brother Bishop Timothy and Thomas, and all those who hold into the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. 
Remember, your Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, celebrating the most sacred day on which your only begotten Son, our Lord, placed at the right hand of your glory our weak human nature, which he had united to himself, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sictus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Christogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O Lord God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints admit us we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merit, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. shall cross the barren desert but you shall not die of thirst you shall wander far in safety though you do not know the way you shall speak your words in foreign lands and all will shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me. And on Pass through raging waters in the sea, you shall not drown. If you walk amid the burning flames, you shall not be harmed. If you stand before the power of hell and death is at your side, I am with you through it all. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, 
and I will give you rest. Blessed are your poor, for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you If wicked tongues insult and hate you all because of me, blessed, blessed are you. Be not afraid. I go. And I will give you Two or three are gathered in my name. Love will be found. Life will abound. By name we are called. From water we are sent. To become the eyes and hands of Christ. One we become No longer strangers No longer empty or frail Filled with the Spirit Every hunger satisfied Christ is the center of our lives. Where two or three are gathered in my name, love will be found, life will abound. By name we are called, from water we are sent. To become the eyes and hands of Christ. One in the Spirit, one in the Lord, one in the breaking of the bread. Life giving witness of our dying. of our hands where two or three are gathered in my name love will be found life will abound by name we are called from water 
water we are sent to become the eyes and hands of Christ. Not what we are, but what we become. Not what we say, but what we do. Living the challenge as bearers of light, we are the eyes and hands of Christ. Where two or three are gathered in my name, love will be found, life will abound. By name we are called water we are sent to become the eyes and hands of Christ. An act of spiritual communion. My By Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most, in the most holy, holy sacrament. sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope might draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day his only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where he is. Amen. Amen. May he grant that as Christ, after his resurrection, was seen blindly by his disciples, so when he comes as judge, he may show himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. Amen. And may you who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty, Know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of times. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Go out and tell, make disciples of nations, go out and tell the good news. Sing from your heart, sing to all of creation, go out and tell the good news. Go out and tell, God's love is everlasting, go out and tell, He is a loving friend, go out and tell. He'll never leave you orphan. Shout it.
from the mountain Let the word be alive in you the good news.